Radio Entertainment Program, AFN Morning Show, 10 Minutes, AFN Misawa, MC1 Sprat. Rihanna Young Jeezy Hard on the Source 1575. Petty Officer First Class Sean Spratt, better known to you, the Spraticus Maximus, on the morning breakdown, 909, 22 degrees out there. You got snow outside the window. It's snowing right now. Snow all day today. It's in your forecast. Three to six inches is what is forecasted for today, weather courtesy of the 35th OSS Weather Flight. Your exchange rate, 82 yen to the U.S. dollar. We're going to go over the top three movies you should see in 2012. Here's Pink. Try Pink with Try on the Source 1575. It's 914 Spraticus on the morning breakdown. Currently 25 degrees outside. You got snow in your forecast for today. Three to six inches is what's predicted. Temperature's going to get to the upper 20s. Right now we're in the mid-20s. Weather brought to you courtesy of the 35th OSS Weather Flight. Your exchange rate is 82 yen to the U.S. dollar. Now there's an amazing ski and snowboard trip to beautiful Appy that still has a couple of openings. Outdoor Rec, they are waiting for you to come by today and sign up for a fantastic Sunday on the slopes. It's this Sunday, the 30th. Now, teens, you get great deals on these trips as a member of the Wakasa Teen Center. Make sure to get your annual membership in order to get deals on these trips. That's the ski and snowboard trip to Appy. Few slots open. Get to Outdoor Rec. Sign up today. Head for the mountains and all that powder. Alicia Keys, Girl on Fire on the Source, 1575, 923, Spraticus on the morning breakdown, 25 degrees outside your exchange rate, 82 yen to the U.S. dollar. We're talking movies and the must-see flicks of 2012. Coming in third is Argo. It's starring and directed by Ben Affleck, who has proven he's one talented director. Argo blends hilarious comedy with gut-wrenching suspense, make the film more intense with an ending most people already know takes some tasks and serious talent john goodman alan arkin and brian cranston effortlessly bring this wild tale to life it seems too nutty to be true but it definitely was true based on a true story coming in second beasts of the southern wild director ben zietlin's feature film debut it's a powerful, powerful piece of cinema. Sorry, stumbling over myself. When a fictional bayou called the bathtub is wiped out by a hurricane, a young girl named Hush Puppy embarks on a magical journey through the water and wreckage to make sense of her destroyed universe. This is a poetic film about standing tall in the face of disaster. The cast is made of local Louisiana actors and young six-year-old, I cannot pronounce this person's name, Quenzani Quenzani Wallace gives an awe-inspiring performance. And number one, number one movie you should see for the year 2012 is Moonrise Kingdom. Quirky, daring, and unflinching, unflinchingly original. Wes Anderson's drama. If fans of Wes Anderson will probably like this movie. Rushmore, um, The Royal Tenenbaums, that's Wes Anderson. So if you like those movies... I think he also did The Life Aquatic, too. You're probably going to like Moonrise Kingdom. Delivers one surprise after another, from the incredible production design to the delightful performances by the two young stars, Jared Gilman and Kara Hayward. Moonrise Kingdom is a sugar rush of entertainment. Anderson's children adventure for adults is charming and colorful and is a playground for actors like Bruce Willis, Edward Norton, Harvey Keitel, Bob Balbin, Tilda Swinton, Francis McDormand and Bill Murray to let loose. Bill Murray's a big Wes Anderson type of guy because he's played in like every Wes Anderson movie. Check it out. The movies for 2012. Watch them. Own them. Enhance your collection.
Foo Fighters wheels on the source 1575 at 938. Spraticus on the morning breakdown, 27 degrees outside. This is what your weather forecast looks like for the rest of the day. The high is going to be in the upper 20s. We're sort of on the lower end of the upper 20s at 27 degrees. Snow showers throughout the day. Three to six inches of snow forecasted for the whole day. So look for snow showers this afternoon and this evening as well. Weather brought to you courtesy of the 35th OSS Weather Flight. Thinking about it, though, 27 degrees, that's that's a little warm outside, don't you think? Compared to, I don't know, yesterday was colder and the wind was blowing. It was very frigid. It's like 27 degrees. It's like shorts and T-shirt weather out there, right? Grab your suntan lotion. Get a tan while you can. Your exchange rate, 82 yen to the U.S. dollar. Football. Anybody need a football fix today? They got the Little Caesars Bowl on, AFN Sports, right now. You want to check out what the bowl schedule looks like if you're a sports fan. If you're not a sports fan and you want to avoid the sports, you can all go to myafn.net, pull up the TV guide, and check out what's playing today, tomorrow, next week, any day on the calendar. Check it out. I actually don't know how far out it goes in advance. I know that they've been advertising... There's going to be a movie marathon on uh, Christmas Eve into in, or not Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve into New Year's Day, and they got to, like the top 20 movies that was voted upon by viewers, people who went on to the AFN Facebook page, not the AFN Masawa Facebook page, but the big AFN page where you do the uh, voting for the football games. They did the voting for the movie, so I know. That countdown's going to be there. You can probably pull up myafn.net, go to the TV guide, and check out the movies. You can also customize your own TV guide with your favorite shows, news, sporting events, movies, all that good stuff on the scheduler that's on myafn.net. Go check it out. See what's happening. Western Kentucky versus Central Michigan right now. Little Caesars Bowl, AFN Sports. Staying with sports. Can the Clippers be the best team in the NBA? Is it possible? Is it true? The team that has the, what do you call it, the worst, I don't know, the team that's been at the bottom the longest in the NBA, they've been in the gutter. Can they be the best team in the NBA? Lob City is what they're called. Right now, they own the best record in the NBA, 22-6. and six. They're a half a game ahead of Oklahoma City, and they're like one and a half games ahead of Miami. So, are they the best? They got the best winning streak in the NBA so far this year at 14. Doesn't look like they're going to be slowing down. They also have the best point differential at plus 9.7. Chris Paul... Turn the franchise around. Yeah, there's Blake Griffin, and they've got a strong bench, but they wouldn't be where they are today without Chris Paul. Could they win the NBA championship? What do you think? What's your take? Who's your favorite team? Who do you have winning the NBA championship? Something to think about. Something to watch for, too, because they're going to have games on. MyAFN.net. Check it out. Favorite sporting events. Here's Kelly Clarkson. Catch my breath. Christina Aguilera and Blake Shelton, just a fool on the source, 1575. It's 953 Spraticus on the morning breakdown. 27 degrees outside. It is currently snowing. There is snow in your forecast all day today, up to six inches forecasted. Weather brought to you courtesy of the 35th OSS weather flight. Your exchange rate, 82 yen to the U.S. dollar. Continuing on with the basketball talk. Clippers, could they be the best team of basketball are they destined to be the NBA champions or do they just not have LeBron James, <laughs> Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant? Could any of those derail the Clippers? Now, like I said, they've won 14 in a row. There is one streak right now. It's more impressive than the Clippers winning 14 in a row. And that's Charlotte. The Bobcats have lost 15 in a row. I mean, you have to get lucky once in a while and accidentally win, don't you? Isn't that the way the rules are written? Isn't there like some mercy rule? Hey, you lose 15 in a row, someone's got to give you a win. 
I mean, if they don't if they don't change their ways, the worst team in basketball, the Washington Wizards, they're gonna pass them. <laughs> anyways, anyways, basketball, sports, good time of year for sports. Bowl games. I love the bowl games. My UCLA Bruins are gonna be playing tomorrow against Baylor. Can they pull it out? They need to pull it out. It's not a matter of can they. They need to. They need this win. Maroon 5, one more night. Maroon 5, one more night on the Source 1575, 958. Spraticus wrapping up the morning breakdown for this Thursday morning. 27 degrees outside, snowing. Your exchange rate, 82 yen to the U.S. dollar. Have a great rest of your Thursday. I'll see you on Friday. Here's Blur, song two.